The greedy crocodile. There used to be many animals in a forest. A tiger was the king of the forest. He had a son named Toto. He was very brave and wise. There was a very beautiful pond in the forest, but in that pond crocodiles were releasing fish. In this pond, crocodiles used to do their own thing and did not allow anyone to drink water from the pond. But Mock used to say that first bring fruits etc. for our food and then drink water. The poor animals would collect fruits from the forest and bring them to the crocodiles, then the crocodiles would let them drink water. The poor animals would pick fruits from the forest and bring them to the crocodiles. Then the crocodiles would give them water to drink. All the animals were fed up with the bees so they all thought together to tell this to the king of the forest, the lion. At that time, the cunning fox spoke. If the lion king withdraws in this matter, he will not be declared the king of the jungle. The fox incited all the animals against the lion. All the animals went together to the king of the forest and told the whole matter and also said. You must save us from these crocodiles, otherwise you can leave this forest. Saying this, all the animals left there. Toto, the lion's son, was listening to all this, the king of the forest, the tiger, was worried all night. Toto was watching all this. He called all the animals of the forest and said to them. The king of this forest lion is very good, you care about people so much and you are leaving their side in difficult times. The clever fox said, what does this little child know about these things? But this word of Toto took root in the hearts of the animals, and all these animals went to the Lion King and apologized for their behavior, and said, we will all fight the crocodiles together. Everyone was wondering how to fight the crocodiles at that time, Toto said, but flies are very fond of eating. And their favorite food is rabbit. Now the evening was that of a rabbit, meanwhile the elephant spoke, we cannot kill the rabbit. Toto said, no. We will not kill him, but we will definitely use him. All the animals were looking at Toto wondering how this little child could think of such a wise thing. Everyone encouraged the rabbit and said that with your help, all the animals will be able to live comfortably, to everyone's encouragement, the rabbit agreed. Everyone dug a big hole and put leaves on top of it so that the crocodiles do not know that we have set a trap for them. Now the work has started. The rabbit started drinking water without asking the flies. But when the crocodiles saw it, they got very angry, and one of them said his punishment is to eat him. The other crocodiles heard this, and their mouths filled with water. The rabbit saw the crocodiles moving towards him. The rabbit started running away from there but even the crocodiles started running after him out of greed. But the crocodiles followed the rabbit and reached the place where the net was laid. The rabbit jumped over the net and fell on the other side, and all the crocodiles fell into the pit. Thus all the crocodiles were punished for what they had done and the rabbit breathed a sigh of relief. Then everyone thanked Toto and Rabbit. And the king of the forest, the lion, held a great feast in this way all the animals once again started living happily as before.